Mamu news, bringing you news all about Mamu. We finally have a date for Wien's OST. It'll be out November 19th at 6 p.m. Korean Standard Time. It's the first song of the drama to be released, actually. It's part one. Uh, I think this will be her first OST for a historical drama as well, which is different from like modern drama because Certain words can't really be said in a historical drama. Like, you don't want give me a call, baby, baby <laughs> for a historical drama since cell phones didn't exist at the time. So these OSTs are usually more about feeling, emotion, drama. I'm excited to hear what she has in store for us. Also, remember Huyin's MBTI? Me neither. <laughs> it changes so much. And it's changed again! She posted on Fan Cafe. It's just a screenshot of the newly required MBTI, which is ENFPT now, a turbulence campaigner. If you want to know more about what her MBTI really means, you, I put a link down below explaining the difference between uh, ENFPT versus ENFPA. Basically, if you're the T, you're the type to decide your own success, meaning that you make your own standards and live off of them rather than living off of the standards of others, which I think really fits her right now. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone get your headbands ready, your wrist guards ready, shin guards ready, it's time for soccer. Moonville is finally in the preview of Shooting Stars. <laughs> she will be in the next week's episode where they finally introduce their sixth substitute player and they're not like other shows but where the preview teases only another preview. <laughs> So, now that we got the preview, Moonbyul has uploaded a selfie with the caption of a soccer ball in it. And now Yubin, her teammate, under that post commented, We can now be obvious. If you haven't seen my earlier news videos, which you really should, so you don't fall behind, Shooting Stars will air every Wednesday, and subs will be available the following day on Cocoa or Vicky. They're really quick. If you don't want to pay, just Google Korean shooting stars English subs and uh, it'll pop up. Finally, the most exciting news. Ah, my girl, Hwasa, is coming back. Hwasa's second single album, Guilty Pleasure, was now available for pre-order. The period ends on November 19th at 11 a.m. Korean Standard Time. So the album comes with a photo book, sticker book, the CD, one out of four photo prints, a message card, cookie cartoon, no clue what that is, if you know, please explain it to me, logo sticker, a napkin with her, I'm assuming her lips on it, it'd be quite weird if it was someone else's, one out of ten random photo cards, one out of five random posters, and with every album sold on Bizent, you'll get either a photo ticket or a Bizent special photo card. If you buy four albums, you'll get one photo ticket and three photo cards for sure. And yes, she spelled <laughs> on the album cover. I've never been so proud. <laughs> now, I won't go into the theories of what her comeback might be or what her title song might be about. Just in case there are people watching that don't want to be spoiled, I'll do it in a reaction video. If you do want to look at some theories right now, I will post links to Twitter about what other Twitter users are thinking about based off of what we've got in the teaser, the album cover, stuff like that. But what I can show you is Twitter user Willow Meow tweeted all of Hwasa and Huyin's uh, album covers, and you can see them being consistent with the design. So Hwasa's got the name at the bottom right corner, and then Huyin here has the same pose. Just thought it was interesting. And also this. Ah! If you're looking to buy the album, but also want to save money on shipping costs, you can join a group order where someone in your country buys all the albums and then ships it to other people within your group and then you all split the shipping costs. 
let's say there's four of you in the group and you each want one album. So one person will buy all four albums. Let's say the shipping cost costs uh, $40 to make things even. Then all you need to do is pay $10 within each other. Plus whatever shipping costs that the organizer needs to pay to actually ship it to you. It's uh, usually a lot cheaper domestically versus internationally. I'll leave a link to a thread of people hosting group orders that someone graciously uh, put together for all over the world. Uh, this is only for Hwasa's guilty pleasure as well. Please know that this doesn't mean that I'm vetting the host. I just saw this thread and thought it might be useful for you guys to check it out at least. Be cautious and be wary. Ask questions, ask for receipts, Make sure the organizer is being as transparent as possible uh, without being rude about it as well. Please don't get scammed. And don't get doxxed either. Make sure that they're not sharing your private information around. It's between you and the person organizing it or the person shipping it. I mentioned this last week, but Hwasa was on I Live Alone and that just aired. So subtitles should be out by the time this video comes out as well if you want to check that out. Uh, Solar's Wild Idol is also out. That's her last episode on there. You already know about Studio Moon Knight. Uh, not, honestly, not too much news this week, which is a first. But that's gonna be it for me today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Love you. Appreciate you. And I'll see you later. Bye!